Zidane Danny, Electric Ninja here. Uh, real quick before we actually get into the video, uh, we have maybe a week's worth of videos, so um, send it in your theories and any other um, ideas for videos down in the comments probably now. Um, I'm going to try and do some live streaming before too long, so that might help balance some things out. But I can't promise anything because most people don't watch those. So we'll see. And after that, your only videos that you're going to be getting for a little while are going to be uh, the audio books of uh, My Hero Academia School Briefs. Unless I can get theories. So we'll just have to wait and see. But that's the information. Let's get into the actual video, which is actually about a fighter or kind of so if you guys aren't following the miraculous instagrams then you wouldn't actually know this but today when i'm recording this adrian posted this picture which says nino pro gamer is offline what an awesome stream thanks to nino for sharing Max's new game beta with us. Now, we all know what Max has been working on, quote unquote, and that is the game from Gamer 2.0, AKA a fighter. Now, this is currently the only confirmation we have for a miraculous video game of any kind no other information no anything now i would like to assume that this could be a good thing but considering the fact that as of right now the nino pro gamer uh twitch channel it doesn't exist like at all that was l that whole picture was fabricated by the instagram people so yeah at least as far as i can find maybe there's something else but for right now that's it so yeah um but i would like to actually look at what the possible game could be now we're assuming that it's going to be the fighter now obviously there are some people like me who would like it to be an RPG kind of thing with certain aspects from uh, the Spider-Man PS4 game, but it's kind of unlikely. So what exactly is this game likely to be? Well, first off, it's a fighter. So let's look at the top fighter, Soul Calibur as well as Tekken and a few others. Um, most fighters function kind of like Soul Calibur and Tekken. Basically, it is a flat field. There is some movement, but not much. And basically, you just have your combos and nothing else. And it's honestly a good system, but not great for something like this because, well, it's miraculous. It's superheroes doesn't quite make sense for it to be like Soul Calibur. So instead, I think it's going to be more like My Hero One's Justice. Uh, a lot of anime titles, uh, fighters, will actually have a lot more movement involved. Basically, you can run around the area doing different moves and yeah. And this honestly seems like a good option for miraculous they can allow the players to actually move around a bit and still have a decent amount of fun and while obviously there are certain aspects that i would prefer like actually being an rpg it's probably not gonna happen but oh well um now who exactly is going to actually make this game because we know that canonically it's being made by max but in the real world, if this game actually does come about, who's going to make it? And the answer is Bandai. 
uh, I don't care if it's supposed if it's a possibility for it to be I don't know um, Warner Brothers or Nintendo or literally anyone let's make it plain and simple it's gonna be Bandai <laughs> Bandai is currently the one of the top game developers for all fighters, so giving it to anyone to actually make except for Bandai, not the greatest decision. So, yeah. Um, now, as for what characters are going to be in this game, now there's a few things that I would like to see, but I'm honestly unsure. First off, I would hope that they are going to be putting in some and i mean some of the akumatized villains not all of them though not all of the ones that we've actually seen um whether they be from season one season two season three season four and possibly season five cool but i don't want to see too many of them maybe one or two from each season but then an actual akumatized villain that is specific to the game would honestly make the game a lot more better received um, perhaps this villain will have a huge amount of story basically you have to play through the story in order to unlock this character and then um, basically throughout most of the story you basically fight off against each of the villains doing different things and then the actual story of the actual game will be the actual fight against this new villain that they specifically make for, well, Mirac <laughs> for the Miraculous video game. Uh, this would most likely be something that Max would have supposedly thought up. Um, and as for the actual heroes and miraculous users i think that every single one of them is actually going to be in this however their mo well most of them are not going to be able to use their powers i uh, am um, well obviously certain ones would be really cool to see a lot of them would be game breaking maybe you can like uh, for a few uh, maybe like the finishing move or whatever is the special attack, such as maybe for um, Ladybug, she casts, uh, she used Lucky Charm and then uses something to defeat her opponent. Basically, it would be a random, it's a random item, but it would basically be a set item for each character. She throws it up, oh cool, uses it to defeat them. And then it's done. Cataclysm, basically, he destroys the floor, sealing them away, back to the, uh, and then strikes a pose, and so on and so forth. Venom, basically, she stabs the villain and puts them away, different things like that. And these are special moves. There's obviously going to be some other special moves for the Akuma de Heist villains, but we'll see. Um, and the only character that I think will actually be using her abilities uh, actually in combat will be Bunnix. Plain and simple, because Bunnix is actually allowed to use her quirk, her, not her quirk, but her ability multiple times throughout combat. And the same could also be said for Ryoko. Um, or dragon bug they might introduce her as well we'll see but the simple fact of the matter is that we should not expect a lot of characters we should not expect to see oh we got all of the characters from the actual game no do not expect that because it's not happening plain and simple um basically what that is going to if that's going to have anything, it's expect at most 40 characters. I am not going to expect more than that. Because 
we don't know anything about this game, and if it goes beyond that, then I'll be surprised. Now, obviously, as of right now, there has been no confirmation of this game at all from anyone except for this one this one Instagram post or er, story. So, don't get your hopes up, but still be thinking about what this could mean. If we actually do get a fully-fledged game, then that's going to be awesome. But for right now, it looks like it could just be something else, something to see. Now, how are they going to promote this? That is another interesting question that we should be asking. And I think that the answer is actually that they're going to be using the Nino Pro Gamer Twitch as basically their way to show off the the games now obviously there's going to be trailers but basically that will be used before the game releases as showing off different characters and different things like that could be a lot of fun but we'll have to wait and see basically nino is going to pick a character and maybe someone else is going to pick a character and there will be some cool little fun things obviously customization is another thing and i do want to talk about that but it's basically probably going to be very minor uh, probably in the actual Twitch streams, if they do that, um, those will not have every single customization thing because I kind of expect them to make a customization for the civilian forms. Um, also, customization will probably only be limited to the actual characters rather than you can create your own character because that's challenging to say the least. So... We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this. Of course, leave your theories because, honestly, I love reading them. And like I said at the beginning of this video, we don't have much more to talk about before June. So, yeah, start sending in those theories quickly. <laughs> um, of course, if you are new, then please subscribe and ring that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to support the channel even more, then definitely head down to the description and check out my all of my links, including my merch store and my book. But anyways, guys, I've been Electric Ninja, and I'll see you guys next time. But on!